I want to show you what the actual data looks like in the history that we're talking about. Uh, first of all, where am I looking? This is the Federal Reserve economic data maintained by the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. And here's our recent history. And if you focus on just the most recent month, in August 2019, the unemployment rate was 3.7. Uh, this is when Let's see, let's find January 2017, uh, as Trump takes office, the unemployment rate is at 4.7. In fact, if you look at the history before this, how did we get down to 4.7? Well, if you go back up here, when the decline obviously started, in October of 2009, we had a 10.0. And after that, this is uh, 10 months after Obama took office, the unemployment rate begins a decline. And that decline has continued through now. This is what Barack Obama did. It is no miracle that took place when Donald Trump became president. You can't, as you look at this series, continued decline. There is where, uh, again, where Trump became president. It was a decline that had been going on since October of 2009, at least, maybe even earlier than that. So let's look at uh, the entire history of this thing. I'll slide this back to the beginning. And now you have a broader uh, perspective on things. So you can see that uh, this is a low unemployment rate has right now in very recent history. Uh, Here's a low point before we were at uh, 3.8 in 2000. And back here, 3.5. And back here in the early 50s, we actually had a 2.5. So if you hear that this is, a, this is an unemployment rate that we've never reached before, uh, that's not true. And if you hear that this is a result of some miraculous change that Donald Trump made when he became president, that's not true. This began when Barack Obama took over. And the mess that Barack Obama took over, uh, notice that between December 2007 and March, well, this is when Bush's administration, and there's the first month of Obama's administration, that was a uh, really dangerous time period when things really couldn't have managed, couldn't have, could have gotten real bad if Obama had not done what he did with the Recovery Act. Now, I know if you listen to Fox News a lot, you'll hear about the failed stimulus. In fact, I think it was a rule at Fox that you could not say stimulus without saying failed stimulus. No, it didn't fail. I wish it had been a little bit bigger, but that was not politically possible. So he did what he could, and he gave Donald Trump a great economy to start working with. Mm -hmm.